Hey there and welcome to the Champions League final in FIFA 19. This is going to look amazing. As you can see in kickoff mode now guys, you can now play regular finals, which is awesome. And as you can see, we're going to be selecting the UEFA Champions League final. Big thanks though to EA for the invite to Gamescom for the capture and very fun time. And yeah, let's get into the video. As you can see though, first things first, these are the old kits, obviously in the full game. It will be the uh, new kids. It's just like a bit of a glitch going on. But still, they'll be updated for the full game, obviously. And the big thing that I wanted to do with, obviously, my Liverpool team is choose the different tactics for each setting. So when you press left, for example, go defensive, I've got like a different formation, that kind of thing. And it looks amazing. So let's get into how the presentation looks for FIFA 19 and the Champions League final. Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined, as always, on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. It is Liverpool up against Juventus. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully we get the game that this tournament deserves. machine, Roberto Firmino. Well, given your vast European experience, Lee, you must have memories of playing Juventus. Absolutely. Played in a dead rubber qualifying match here with David Seaman pulling his hamstring the night before the game in training. And he played the whole game not diving to his right, which was quite hilarious because every time the ball went to his right, I had a little snigger to myself knowing that he was struggling a little bit. He didn't tell the physio that night. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Blaise Matuidi plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And leading the attack today is the heart to contain Cristiano Ronaldo. How amazing did that just look? I'm sorry, but that looked awesome right there, guys. It really looks so just brilliant in terms of the presentation but as you can see the gameplay right now when I'm watching this back and I'm like my god it actually does look different a lot different than FIFA 18 if you've played a lot of FIFA 18 guys then you'll be able to tell the subtle differences right here and I think especially I've said it quite a few times the passing in this game feels brilliant it really really does and I want to like compare if anyone if anyone's watching this video who's been at the capture event and played the beta or even you guys who played the beta for FIFA 19 what do you think of that because for me like this gameplay honestly was so good I've seen on negative thoughts about the beta in FIFA 19 and um, this game over here though feels good it did it did feel good felt a lot better than FIFA 18 um, and so I said it before like in terms of the timed shot like which is a big new feature it sounds easy so basically guys with the time finishing now FIFA 19 you have to press shoot and then 
then press to shoot again when you're connecting with the ball to get like a perfectly timed shot. It's a bit weird, but I need to get used to it. Amazing goal there, though, by Pjanic, and that was against my Liverpool. This, I'm not joking, this CP was good. I think they were on, I think it was, was it legendary? It, it was the one before the most difficult one. I'm not sure which one there is again, but still, great goal by Pjanic, and it was good, though. They gave me a really good game in this game, but in terms of the look of the Champions League and FIFA 19, it does look great, and I love the new ball. I didn't like it at first, but now I've come around. It really does look nice for me. really looks awesome. But a great goal there, though, by Pjanic, and the graphics do look better. That's one thing I've noticed as well. They do they do look improved, which I think was needed. I felt like FIFA 17, FIFA 18 did look a lot alike. Also, one thing I noticed about the presentation is it just it looks real. So I went back and watched FIFA 18 and when the Premier League champion like they lift the trophy, for example, it looked okay, but compared to this and what you're going to see in this video, it's nothing compared to it, man. Like, I'm going to tell you straight up, guys, it's just so much better. Everything about it is just so much crisper. It looks more real. And even that right there looks awesome. And the way the players move in this game is different, which is awesome. Um, but as I said before, man, like the gameplay for me was really good. I'll be straight up, guys, and tell you that. It was very, very, very good. Um, and in terms of playing kickoff, it was much more fun than last year's kind of kickoff games, and especially squad battles and that kind of stuff. But anyway, Firmino gets the ball here, and look at this finish. Bang! Right off the crossbar. Just over the line, no VAR needed right there, no VAR required at all. And Firmino knew it was going in all day. Great finish there to make it one all in the Champions League final, 65th minute right there. I'm loving this new Liverpool team, by the way. They were a dream to play with, having the dream front three. Obviously, Firmino, Salah, Mane in the left as well. I had Fabinho on the team. Keita felt amazing in this game, by the way. He's going to be brilliant to get for ultimate teams in uh, FIFA 19. But brilliant finish there by Firmino, and it really was a close um, finish there until it hit the bar for the second time. Um, but yeah, Klopp celebrating there as always. I I'm not going to lie, I wish he had a different tracksuit on. He's worn that tracksuit every day for FIFA 18. Give him a new track suit, yeah. Still, I love the overlays of the Champions League. Okay. Also, big thing, look at this. Bang! How amazing does that look from the goalkeepers, guys? That's a big improvement, by the way. Goalkeeper kicking is much improved. Um, I mean, I know it's Allison and he, and he has got good kicking stats in this game. But the fact that that just went right to Mane was just incredible. Great ball there by Salah. And nearly got Shakiri who came on as a late sub. And then Ronaldo, actually, not, that's not Ronaldo. He didn't, he um, messed up that shot there, whoever that was. Then I got the ball to Fabinho. Great pass here to Kaiser. Um, and I thought I was going to make it 2-1 right in extra time. But it was not to be. And as you guys can probably tell, it will be going to penalties. But even look at that animation right there. That looks amazing, doesn't it? It really does look awesome with uh, Salah taking the corner. I thought I could have got the goal here with, um, with uh, my uh, corner going in there, but still wasn't to be. And we will be going to penalties, guys, as you can see right now. The dreaded penalties will be happening in the Champions League final in FIFA 19. And I want to show you this without narrating, as I want to I wanna see what you guys think about the presentation, how it looks, how it feels. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this gameplay and the Champions League final specifically. I think it looks amazing. And every time I hear that Champions League music, man, it just makes me feel emotional. It really does. Anyway, let's get into the penalties for the Champions League final. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And he's tucked his penalty away, Lee. Well, he held his nerve. Simple as that. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. Well, the goalkeeper guessed, but he guessed the right way. Good save. Can he keep us cool? And he's beaten the keeper. No doubt. Head down. Lovely strike. Well, he stuttered a bit, but the goal has been given. Well, it's a cheeky goal. It really is. Will he be able to keep the demons? And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, you have to have strong hands as a goalkeeper. And look at that. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, he's got his angles right there. Just look at that for goalkeeping. Job done from the spot. Well, professional job. Well done. Well, the responsibility is on his shoulders. Failure to score and they lose.
And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? Well, the end result is there for all to see. What a night. We're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment but for the losers. It's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred. Oh, just the point, Derek. Always be respectful of the losers. Yes, you're in raptures. You're celebrating with your mates. Always took time to go to the opposition and say, unlucky. The party has started. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. What a feeling of pride it must give you to be able to say you're part of the team that's the best in Europe, Lee. Well, you know, these players get paid fortunes. Bank accounts are full of money, but it doesn't matter. It's about memories. When you finish your career, you look back at these moments. Left the Champions League trophy. Brilliant moment, especially for the captain. He gets his hands on the trophy first. Well, they certainly intend to savour this. Juventus. And they ought to. Doesn't come along every night of the week. Well, this is the moment I love. Sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down. The family's in the stand, giving them all away. But they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. Took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019.